school bathrooms are probably the worst thing i've ever come across on my 17 years on this planet and that's putting it lightly because i think even when my soul is passed on and i'm six feet under i'll still be getting ptsd breakdowns from how disgusting and dirty these bathrooms were but the saddest most traumatic thing about this bathroom experience is that they will never be fixed you will never go into a school and find a clean bathroom it's like saying cheetos and milk go well together or hawaiian pizza is good it's just false and it's never gonna be good and there are many factors that lead to the school bathrooms being terrible including the students the teachers nice. the bathrooms just being in terrible condition from the day the school opens and and the fucking privacy it's an all mayhem that you just can't fix because if you give the students privacy they're going to end up doing dumb shit and the bathrooms are going to get absolutely destroyed but if you don't give them privacy well you're a fucking pedophile and because this is the only place in the school where students get 100 percent privacy they get up to some disgusting oh, down bad horrible things that i will talk about in this video one being smoking and vaping which is a thing that I think all of you have come across in at least one of your journeys to the bathroom. Like literally, in one of my old schools, every break time, they would turn that room into a fucking hot box. Just have 50 kids all puffing and sucking their fucking vapes. And it smelled kind of good, I can't lie. But there is no way that I am walking through a literal cloud of smoke to take a piss. Because me personally, I've already done a video on it, but that shit ain't good for you, bruv. Like, like, just deep this for a second. One in three people will have cancer. And if I walk through a room of literal gas cancer every single day, I'm going to get cancer. Drake put it the best. I want a long life and a legendary one. I don't want to be keeling over and dying at 25. Bruv, I got shit to do and stuff to see, man. I want to be around when there's fucking flying cars and flying dildos all over the sky. I don't want to be dead in the next 10 years. And so this is where that problem comes in. And I'll tell you a little story real quick. Because there was a kid in the bathroom that was smoking his lungs out one day. He was hotboxing the entire room by himself. And the teacher was outside. And he knew that somebody was smoking inside. But he also knew he couldn't go in. Because then he would get in trouble. But for some reason, he just thought, oh, fuck it. So he went in. And then the kid pulled his trousers down. And so technically, the teacher's a nonce. And that led to the kid ultimately demanding that the teacher get fired from the school, which he did. And so this is what I'm on about. There's a thin line between privacy and keeping the bathrooms actual bathrooms. And you can't put security cameras in there because, again, you're filming little kids' cocks. So there's just no way to get around this problem. Or is there? See, me being the smart person I am, I've been thinking about a way to fix this problem. And one of the ways you can fix this problem suckers uh, i should not be saying that in a video talking about children but yes suckers so the idea is that you have ventilation and suckers inbuilt in the side of the bathroom walls and so that when if somebody somebody smokes the suckers suck the smoke out and so people that don't like smelling hawaiian pineapple hubba bubba vape juice it's fine you can go in now and you might be thinking well isn't the kid still vaping isn't that still bad for him but i see it as survival of the fears if that kid is fucking vaping he deserves to die because that's a bad thing to do and he's obviously not the smartest kid and trust me when i say we do not need any more dumb asses in this society just go on twitter for five seconds and you'll see why but there are so many more problems with the school bathrooms that need a lot more than just a genius like me to come along and fix it one being the fucking imbeciles that put a fuck ton of paper in the toilet and then flush your sword clogs up. Like, Jesus Christ, bro, what the fuck are you doing? You're not helping anybody out. You're not being funny. If I saw a kid doing that next to me, I would start fucking swinging, bro. I would knock that kid out. Because it's not fucking funny, bro. If I want to go and take a piss, I don't want the piss to be flowing up and overflowing over the toilet seat. And then when I walk in the toilet and see that, it's just fucking disgusting. It's a layer of white paper with just human piss and shit covered all over it. And the kids that think this is like a funny prank or something. It's not. It's not okay. What makes a funny prank funny is that you're pranking somebody that deserves to be pranked. My innocent ass don't deserve to be pranked, bruv. I've done nothing but just struggle all day day and now i want to go to the toilet for my sweet relief and there's fucking shit and piss in the toilet that can't be flushed down jesus christ bro if i ever saw anybody doing this mass genocide that's what i'm saying this easily is the biggest problem 
is what a fool would think, but I ain't no fucking fool. And I know too much about the school bathrooms to say this is the biggest problem, because they are bigger, thicker, mm. and worse problems. <laughs> One of these being the end of year pranks. Oh my god, bro. Every year, the senior year in my school has thrown the most down bad, disgusting pranks always in the boys' toilets. And pranks are supposed to be funny, bro. These aren't funny. Bringing in a life-size Moby Huge dildo and sticking it to the side of the wall isn't Bruh. funny. Bro, I literally walked in there with my friend and the tip slang back and hit him in the face. Taking just the tip to a whole nother level, but still, bro, it's disgusting. But this isn't even the worst, bro. One time, they super glued the door and they put sandbags and tape so nothing could get in and out. Not even water. And then they filled it up with fucking water and they left through the window. And I said water, but that's wrong. There was also piss and shit in there, bruv. And so when the teachers finally opened the door, just a monsoon of piss, shit, water, vomit, literally everything you could think about. I'm pretty sure there was some diapers in there. Just came flowing out. And it was so high, bro. The water when it came out was literally mid-thigh level for the teachers. It was fucking insane, bruv. And I wasn't even there because they closed down the whole section when they realized the door was glued shut which is missed opportunity for real nah but for all the toilets i mean i'm saying boys toilets because i ain't never been in the girls toilets but the toilets are a bit like um uh, a shitty uncle it's like they're shit disgusting and haven't shaved in the last two years but like you still love it because you have good memories of it and literally all my best memories of my school was from the toilets Specifically one memory, which was a bit like that car boxing telephone boxing Where like they both have gloves in a car and they just have to punch the shit out of each other And we did something very similar in our toilet cubicles in the boys toilets Where we put two kids back to back together And then somebody would blow a whistle and they would just turn around and start swinging at each other It led to a couple of um bad injuries Very bad injuries, couple concussions I think some kids split his head open. But that was definitely one of my best memories of school. For real, man. I mean, like, serious talk with Trey right now. There's pros and cons of school. But once you leave school, the cons seem to turn more into pros. I don't know if it's just, like, nostalgia or something. Because there definitely are some bad memories. But a lot of the things in the moment that I thought were shit, I've kind of looked back fondly of them now. Which is crazy. Anyway, I know you didn't come here for a theoretical talk about human science in the brain, so I'm going to just end the video here. I hope you liked and enjoyed, and if you did, please like and subscribe. It would extremely help me out. Thank you for watching. Bye.